Danielle Quickman here, and I'm going live on episode eight today, uh, talking about uh, a morning routine. And I had a lot of questions on how I get up 3:20 in the morning and why. So at first, I wanted to share my morning routine and why I get up so early, and then I wanted to give you guys some tips so you guys can be morning people too, because a lot of us aren't. And uh, hopefully, what I share can help you guys out. Uh, I get up at 3:20. My alarm goes off. I'm a wet, like wide awake. I get up, sometimes I get up before my alarm, and it doesn't even aggravate me because I just I have so much to do before I before for my day. If I have to work at six, I literally have two hours and 40 minutes to get stuff done before I go to work. So the first thing I do when I wake up is uh, drink my pre-workout and work out, and that's 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And then after that, I um, get on. The internet and do my post for the day um, talk to my, my group and check in and post my workout and um, I also have my meals prepped ahead of time so all I do is I have a meal prep prep bag so I put all my meals in there um, take a shower and get dressed for work and go and then I work from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and I get home and eat dinner and then read with my son and by that time I'm in bed by like 8 39 every day but that's when I'm working at my days off I get up between 3.20 and 4.30 every day. Um, what I do is work on my business. I, I blog, if you guys didn't know, I do that. I've been doing it continuously for almost eight years, but recently I've been doing it a lot more in the last three, and not very recently I've been doing it every day. So if you guys need any information, you're looking for something, I come check it out. I blog every day about my, uh, my life and fitness and health and my son and my work, so. Uh, and then after that, I, I basically I'll put out stuff on Instagram, Pinterest. I'm I'm doing videos now, so this is a lot of my time because I'm editing videos. So, and then I'll work out, shower, eat, hang out with my husband, um, work more on my business, and then pick up my son at two, and then hang out with him. So that's my day normally. Now I'll make dinner. I meal prep two days a week for 45 minutes, so that's part of my routine too. And. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my routine. Now I have some tips for you guys on how you can be get up earlier. Now if you have, if you have little kids and you're short on sleep as it is like newborns, I totally understand. This this isn't gonna apply right now. Just do what you sleep when you can and do what you gotta do until you can get down a firm schedule with your child too before you can even start doing this. But um, what I suggest is getting up one hour earlier. Yep, I'm telling you to get up earlier, and here's why. You could do a morning routine that actually you look forward to every day. Um, first thing you do, get up in the morning, and you actually can get up and enjoy it, which is crazy, because uh, you're gonna wake up several times during the night and you're thinking, oh my gosh, tomorrow I'm gonna be so tired. Uh, like, really? Like, you're gonna wake up and be tired because you just told yourself that. Don't do that. Be like, tomorrow I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna have all this energy. Don't, don't talk yourself into being miserable in the morning. But wake up one hour early, um, and the first thing you do is positive affirmations, and then you go over your goals. Like, here's a positive affirmation, here's, a, here's an example of one. Uh, say you want to lose weight. I love my body and I'm healthy every morning. It sounds cheesy, it's so not, because you're training your brain. And you're going to start believing it, you're going to start motivating yourself. Um, another one is, um, I'm healthy and I love life. Another great one to use so those are positive affirmations and you should repeat them every morning like make them huge for you this is like how you train your brain to think differently um, I actually created um, a five-step process to make your own I mean you could find quotes on the internet but they might not personally be tailored to something your way of speaking and everything so I made five you can make your own in five easy steps make a couple of them and I um, I will post on the replay, I have my blog with the video in it, with the replay. You can actually print it out. So uh, I'll, get, I'll get, get that to you after I edit the video. Uh, so five minutes going over your goals and positive affirmations, first thing you do. Second thing you can do, meditation. Not cheesy, totally not cheesy, 15 minutes of meditation. So basically it's just, it's, it's relieving stress and it's, clearing your mind and you're thinking about your goals and it's putting you in a positive mood. You know that those people you go into work and you're just like, I don't even want to talk to them today because they're so negative. It's like a cancer. Like you lose energy when you walk in the room with them. 
I feel that way. I have like certain people I just don't want to be around because they're just so freaking negative. This will, if, if you're one of those people and don't, you don't have to admit it to me because I don't care, but if you can admit it to yourself, this will help you. Meditate, breathe, think about your day and what you gotta do. And it actually will help you think clearer and make better decisions. So 15 minutes of that, of meditation, five minutes of positive affirmations. That's 20 minutes. Next, journaling. Get all those goals out, get all, get some ideas for, maybe you have kids ideas you wanna do in the future, a vacation, a future goal. 10 minutes of that, just get it all out on paper. Another way to relieve stress and actually come to good thoughts you're having, put it out there. And you can go back and reference it later and see how you progressed. It's, it's quite interesting to look back on a couple years when I, what, when I was writing and what I wrote then and what I wrote now because my confidence level, completely different. Uh, that's 10 minutes, so you're at 30 minutes right now. And you're up early and you've already done those three things which are all for you. That's your me time. Um, another 30 minutes, workout. Best thing you can do, build energy, lose weight, feel great. It gives you more energy after you work out. That's why I do it at 3 in the morning. I could do it at 6 at night. No way. I'm gonna, I can work 12 hours. I am not coming home and working out. So I'm doing it at 3 in the morning. And I actually feel better. And it builds confidence. I feel stronger. I'm healthy. I have more energy. There's no reason not to. You, you can't fit in 30 minutes of a workout in the morning. Especially if you're getting up an hour early. So that's a whole hour right there. And you got a lot done for yourself. 30 minutes of a workout. 10 minutes of journaling. 10 minutes of meditation. Five minutes of positive affirmations. This is how I started getting up at three in the morning. And it's actually made me more productive because of it. And where I got this concept, I didn't come up with this on my own. I actually read this in a book. It was called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Totally awesome book. Like if you want to make your morning more productive and get everything done so you can actually feel like you accomplished something that early in the morning, get this book. I'll put a link in there but like legitimately I read this book in one day and I am like I don't have time to read I just it's an easy read it's got great concepts great well written and um, it actually will inspire you to have a better morning and that's what he talks about like you know sometimes you're only gonna be getting four or five hours of sleep you got six six ki sick kids or something else going on go to sleep and tell yourself and you might still be tired but tell yourself I'm gonna wake up tomorrow I'm gonna have energy instead of being because Legitimately, you put it in your mind, oh, I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna suck. Well, it's gonna suck. You just said it was gonna suck and you just said you were gonna be tired. Yeah, self-fulfilling prophecy. It's seriously. And discover your power.